so we have seen that how the experiments can be done uh, in a laboratory to match the the real product and to help, to collect data that will help to produce the real product that we want to produce in the industry and bring things in the market so we continue the same discussion of uh, non dimensionalization uh, in a step wise method uh, which is known as buckingham pi theorem method uh, so what we do here in that in this procedure is that we try to collect and identify the significant dimensional groups in fluid mechanics and flow similarity between the model studies that is the model as well as the real prototype and similarly we under, while we are doing it we see the we ensure that the dimensions the units the dimensional homogeneity uh, is maintained this is extremely uh, important all non primary dimensions can be formed by combination of seven primary dimensions as we have said before and for example if we are discussing velocity then velocity is distance over time and we this the unit for the distance is say meter and the for time it is second so meter by time will be the uh, dimensional unit or uh, what is meter it is a length so length over time and it is denoted by l by t similarly force uh, then force is has the units uh, ml over t square where m is the mass every additive term in an equation that we are considering and we want to non dimensionalize must have same dimension i think uh, i have mentioned this before but it's a kind of uh, reminder to ourselves and repetition that each term in an equation should have the same dimension if even one term differs from the dimensions of the others then i there is a something wrong with the equation or uh, there is an error in the equation and it will not be satisfied and it needs correction so for example the most common equation that we take while we are discussing fluid dynamics is bernoulli's equation and the three terms that occur here are is pressure velocity gravity and of course on the right hand side it's supposed to be constant so their relevant dimensions are considered they are given here and we try to non dimensionalize them with the relevant by dividing with the relevant parameters you can see that p has dimensions of m over t square into l m is for mass rho is m over l cube and v and g and z likewise are uh, indicated accordingly next we need uh, and to select the scaling parameters and those parameters are arbitrary but they should have the same dimensions as occurring in the equation that we are considering in this equation we are talking about bernoulli's equation so relevant to p rho velocity etc we have to have uh, standard parameters having same dimensions they are therefore for convenience they are indicated by l not u not this should be like this and rho not and let us say, and similarly let us say if we are talking about a drag that that takes place while a sphere is moving or a wind is passing through passing or a fluid is flowing and why across a sphere then 
what is the value of the drag? The forces that, the parameters that occur and the, in the force of drag is its uh, lengthwise dimensional dimension and a typical can be either radius or diameter of the sphere, the velocity, the density, the coefficient of viscosity. And again, you can see that the combination of these variables, these parameters, uh, results in selection of uh, Reynolds number. So that is the uh, uh, easiest thing that we need to consider. And then you can see the total, the, the force of drag, if we divide it by rho v square into d square, this will become non dimensionless. No, and then on the right hand side, uh, we can consider it to be a function of rho v d over mu. So these are the, uh, uh, just a methodology, a procedure that we need to consider uh, how to dimension, how to non-dimensionalize a particular variable and then consider it as a function of a parameter and this parameter you can see is, uh, uh, is, is uh, related to Reynolds number. Only one, and in this way, what is the advantage? The advantage is that there it, it, it uh, takes us to only one uh, dependent variable and one independent variable. So that is the advantage. And therefore, when we have only one dependent variable and one independent variable, then it is easy to set up the experiment for that particular problem. And you can see if we do that, how nicely the experimental results fit in with the real data. And you can see that all the points are falling on the line. That is, one is, the line is expected one, theoretical, and the small circles indicate experimental results. They very nicely, almost 100%, not quite 100%, but almost, they are very accurate. That is the advantage of uh, non-dimensionalization of the parameters and the values.